Hello guys, uh, today we are gonna make dal kachori and here are the ingredients uh, for the dough that is maida, ajwain, salt, oil. We will mix them and we will show you the stepwise process of it. For the filling you have your moong dal which has been soaked, uh, the dry masalas which has to be roasted and few or other few other things which we will show during the process. So for the dough we need 3 katoris of maida as you can see after taking 3 cups of maida we need half spoon of half teaspoon of ajwain we will add this ajwain we will crush it a little bit first and after crushing it we will add it to the dough flour after adding the ajwain we take salt and we can, you can use uh, salt as per your taste after adding on the salt with ajwain mix the flour take half katori of oil it can be any oil that is your vegetable oil or your refined oil mix the oil with the dough Start binding the dough with the oil and keep on mixing it till you get a doughy consist consistency. After mixing the oil with the dough, take a dough, lump of dough and press it. When it forms a good lump, it means that the dough and oil have mixed properly and the mixture is perfect. Add water slowly to the mixture of oil and flour and start making dough out of it. Mix it properly so that the dough form should be tight. After mixing the dough with oil, water and flour, the dough should look like this, soft and firm. After mixing of the dough, cover the dough with a wet duster so that it doesn't get dry for 15 to 20 minutes. For the filling, we will take a pan and dry roast the spices. We take 2 tablespoon of coriander seeds. 1 teaspoon of sauce, 1 teaspoon of jeera, half peppercorn and 3 whole dry chilies. Mix the spices and dry roast them. start getting a fragrant smell out of the spices. The spices have been roasted and we will let it cool down and remove it from the flame. After cooling down of the dry spices, put them in the mixer and grind them to form a powder. This is how the powder should look after grinding. It should be not a fan, not very fine as powder, it should be coarse. After draining the moong dal, place it in a mixer and grind the moong dal for 2-3 seconds. Remember not to make it a of a paste cons consistency, you just have to grind it for 2-3 seconds and make it a little bit coarse. This, it, uh, this is it, how it should look like. This is how the moong dal should look like after in a pan take a, take a little oil and heat it up till you start feeling the hotness above the pan after the oil becomes hot reduce the flame to medium flame in the hot oil add the coarse mixture of the spices blended and roast them as you can see the spices are already started to has already started to roast 
During this time add one fourth teaspoon of hing and mix it well. To the masala mixture add three to four spoons of besan and mix it very well. The besan helps in binding the spices and reduces the moisture of the dal that will be put on later. As you can see the besan has soaked in the oil and after uh, it comes to uh, this consistency or the mixture looks like this we add the coarse moong dal to it. Mix the dal in a low medium flame and keep on mixing till it gets cooked. As you can see the moisture of the dal has been soaked by the basin and has it has already cooked nicely. To this mixture now we will add 1 teaspoon of salt or as per your taste a little bit of kala namak to give it a little tangy taste a little bit of haldi half teaspoon of haldi a tablespoon of coriander powder and amchur mix the mixture properly so that all the spices get blend in it add kasuri methi while crushing it to the mixture of dal it should look like this after cooking it on a low flame mix the methi kasuri methi very well and let the mixture to cool off after the cooling of the filling with the help, with the help of your hands make small dumplings like this the same has to be repeated for the dough to make dough balls now flatten the dough as you can see and add the masala dough ball into it and close the dough after adding the masala dumpling into the dough ball and flattening it, it should look somewhat like this. After heating the oil on a low flame, dip on the chichoris in the oil and let them fry till golden brown. And the final product would look like this. Dip the remaining chichoris in the oil and fry them till golden brown. 